expected down here for your first practice to be like? Uh, nah, not really. But I mean, it's still like I don't know, 55. So I mean, you can't complain. That's better than 25 degree weather for sure. Brock has talked about the kind of resource you, you've been able to be for him as the quarterback. Do you, he, he talked about a specific moment in the Texas game, I think, before that last drive. And that's not it. Oh, uh, there was a play we was running. It was like I was kind of uh, open on like the in routes. We were kind of running them all game, and he didn't really see it. So I just kind of like gave it into his head, like, "Hey, look, like I might be open on this play. Like they've been running the same coverage to this. So just look for me." And, and he did, and he saw me in the middle of the field. And we kind of drove down the field and got momentum and kicked the field goal. How much more comfortable are you being, kind of? Yeah. Having everybody look to you, I guess, for, for answers or being able to kind of give advice and be a rallying point for people and be more vocal. Yeah, yeah, that's um, that's something I kind of uh, trained myself to do before the season even started. Um, I kind of just put that in my head that I was I knew I was going to be that guy that everybody came to. So I was just prepared for that moment and just ro rose to the occasion. And I'm just here for my teammates. What kind of emotion is going to be running through your head on whenever Saturday? Uh, a lot. Uh, being my last game uh, playing here at Iowa State, um, and I don't think it really has hit me yet that that's just my last game. But I'm pretty sure after the game, it'll probably hit me more. Higher. What do you remember about your recruitment? The short recruitment is I mean, a couple of months, but Coach Campbell said he yeah. basically called you to get your butt here. <laughs> um, I remember uh, I came on my official visit. It was the last official visit weekend, and I still didn't really know why I was going to school. And uh, once I got out here, uh, Coach Campbell basically was like, man, like this is the place you should be at. And I kind of took that in consideration. And you know, uh, the rest is history really after that. Can you believe it's been four years? Man, it went by super fast. Uh, a blink of an eye, I remember being a freshman, you know, playing uh, against you and I, my freshman year, and now uh, my last game is like surreal. What's, what's, the biggest biggest way, what's the biggest way you feel different from what you were as a freshman to now? Um, I feel more confident, I guess you could say. Uh, when I'm going out there, it feels uh, second to nature. Uh, I'm going out there just playing and helping my teammates out. So just feel more comfortable and, and self-confidence is very high. This is the first class in a while that gets to play in three full games. Yeah. What does, that, what does that mean to you guys? It just shows a lot of, you know, the hard work we put in and all the things that uh, we sacrificed to be here, you know. Um, we've been in three bowl games three years in a row, so um, that's credit to, you know, the coaching staff, the players, and even like, uh, our fan base uh, just supporting us and, and sticking for us and, and everything we do. Given how fast it's gone, how excited are you about this opportunity on Saturday against uh, your prestigious program. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a very exciting uh, experience for this team and this program. You know, playing against a historic team like Notre Dame, uh, you won't want to play on any bigger stage than this. So uh, just coming out here and getting ready to compete and uh, preparing a great week of practice to go out and play Notre Dame is going to be fun. All right, thanks, Mr. Yeah, thanks, Mr.